Hello, hello. I was mining a bit in there, but I was caving with night vision potions. Night vision potion you can help by making awkward potions. So you gotta use a net ward. After that, you gotta use a golden keri, and then you will have a three minute. Uh, night vision potion for the eight minute version you gotta use one piece of redstone dust that's the way to make the eight minute night vision potions okay so this is the haul we got this from the iron golem so yes yeah, so right now i just need to smelt it down and then we'll see if i have enough for a beacon or not spoiler alert it was not. So let's see how many uh, materials we got. I can still use this and convert it all onto blocks. Altogether we've got 88 from those plus 22. Oh yes, that's already more than enough for a whole beacon. I'm not even gonna use uh, most of the blocks. Nice. So I'm gonna build the beacon. It's gonna be probably a bit back there. So yeah, we are gonna see us a bit later. I checked up the cords I want to place the beacon on. So it should be 128 and me minus 400. Okay, so we are go 128. Okay, here we are. A trap door. And now we should be able to dig down. And I shown before the resources I have and found out I need 164 blocks to activate a beacon on the fourth one. So yeah, more or less I just had to trade a lot. As you can see, I get a lot more of emerald blocks. So yes, it's gonna be fun. And we can dig down. Dig, 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 dig. And we're going slowly down. Okay, great. And as you can see, this is gonna be the slime chunk. We, okay. So I want to dig pretty much as low as possible. So yeah. We're going fast and plop. Okay, we're in a cave. A zombie, he has to go. One, two, three. Okay, let's dig a little bit deeper cause we want to go to the bedrock level, probably. And we are probably already here. Okay, so we are at bedrock. I want a height of about 56 yes we can make it so there's gonna be four blocks one two three four and then the beacon ah there you are <laughs> i can look him up in all the chests but he's here no wonder i had to cut out the three times i've gone up and down thanks god <laughs> uh, i'm great i love it Okay, and now the beacon is complete. Or I would love so. Okay, so right now I'm going to dig the whole area under it so I can use it. I need to have a base of nine blocks, two nine blocks, and then it's gonna jump like stairs. That many blocks. Okay, let's go to the digging. So we're digging at breaknaking speeds. Let's go. I'm gonna make the commentary. Yeah, we're digging and digging till the durability goes down. Let's go. Oh, we found diamonds. We give it in shulker and the animation is already close to the end and done. Okay, now <laughs> it's gonna be a second one with placing all the blocks needed for the beacon to function. Slowly the beacon is coming to life. It's costing a lot of materials and I want to cry. Ooh. I will trade a bit later, a lot more. And to be told, I don't even really need to trade cause a bit later I'm gonna build uh, the farm, you know, the iron farm. So, of course, all the iron is gonna be free. I'm gonna have like a few blocks, like in no time. So yeah, I'm not even scared about not having enough resources. Okay, this should be enough. And activate the effect I want to. Of course, it's gonna be haste too. 
it's not gonna help with deep slate, but still it's gonna be a lot faster as you can see. Here is a small showcase of how fast it is insta mining. Normal speed, footage, like really, it's instant. But not only on normal stone, not on cobbler deep slate or deep slate. Still, it's a part of the game when you reach it, you are saying, finally, I'm at this level. That's so great. This is so cool. Finally, I can insta mine it. Well. This should be it for a little bit of slam chunk mining. I will do mine an area for the golems and for the pickup area right underneath, but that's gonna be a bit later. Ah yes, we can hear the slimes. The sticky sticky slimy slimes. Bah. Hello there. So, I've come to a dilemma recently, cause, as you can see, as you can really, really see, I've got a little bit of a situation here. I've got a chest monster. It's brewing, it's getting bigger and bigger, it's growing. I want to, firstly, as you can see, this is the block pallet which I'm gonna use here, but for something. And secondly, which is uh, the prior for me, is this chest. As you can see here is a block pallet of materials I want to use in a little hut. Something like a starter house. Uh, it could be, yeah, those two chunks would be fine or mostly this one. I mean it will go through the four of them but I don't really mind, I don't really care. As you can see it's quite a little place here and I want to have everything loaded in like here. Do you see it? The copper is weathering and this green side is weather. It's looking really cool already. If you come from here, from down, it's looking great. And it will look even better if it's finished weathering. The farms are producing and as you can see I already yeah, traded enough with almost all of them. So I've got what I want plus some other things. So I'm quite happy. I've got the quartz blocks which I will need for the hall, for the pillars and so on. So yes, my prow will be to make a house here. So I'm gonna probably cut it to when I start to build it or when it's already done. Cause I'm not really good builder and these episodes are still pre-recorded. But when I'm editing this episode, episode 1 should be already out. And when I'm going to release the episodes every 2 or 3 days, should be only a week and something till you see this one. So I hope you won't be too much you know, sad about that. And yeah, I will read all the comments and everything. I will try to take your ideas too. And I'm gonna try to make the best what I can, but still I can promise I'm not a builder, so it won't be really great still. Thanks. Guys and girls, as you can see, I did a little bit progress on the build. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I mean, it doesn't look really bad. I think it's it looks fine. Yeah. I mean, here is a little veranda. Uh, the pink, I'm still not sure. Not sold about. I mean, I can... Make it probably like this. Yep. I used the matte bricks, shoom blocks, the brown ones. As you can see, brown mushroom blocks and some normal mat, uh, I mean packed mat. I know a guy who doesn't like my floor and <laughs> it ends with an 85. <gasps> Lol. I do want to make here a second floor, still not sure how exactly, which type. This is for now what I want to do before the next cut, so I'm gonna think about it. This, oops. I'm not really, uh, yeah, happy with it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's how you make the decorated pots. Here I'm gonna have my storage. This should be enough for at the very least a few days. And then here are gonna be stairs down. So it's gonna be a three-story house and this should be enough for a little bit. Still I'm not sure about the execution, as you can see. 
I mean, the colors are not really good or bad. And still, I do have to make some details, but this will be all a bit later when I have all of the major things here completed. So yeah, because this here is already starting to get a little bit messy. And I want to sort my stuff for a little bit, at the very least, a few days, because I don't want to have a big, big, big chest monster there. I tried to make somehow the interior work. At the very least, this is what I came up. It should be quite quite fine for now. Still, I'm not really good at detailing or anything else, even the color palette can be awkward. So yes, this is what I created. I'm still not sure how to think about it, but yeah, at the very least for this floor I'm quite happy. Oh, this, I'm not still sure about that, but I want to have a light source here. This, I'm still not sure if it's fine or not, I mean I can make it like this, I gotta change those two, this like this and like this. Yeah, I mean it's not that bad, I did see worse. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if the color palette will even work. <laughs> I'm not a builder. I did warn y'all, get to sleep, get to sleep, get to get to get to sleep. And as you can see, I did uh, put some trapdoors here and there. And I had an idea there. I'm not sure how it will look like. Still, I want to use those slabs here and probably here to oh, go away. Mm. More like this. Ah, uh, well, let's see how it goes. I will probably still make some changes on the fly. I'm not too happy with it all, I mean. But maybe it could be a good start. I mean, I can make this, then I can make this, and then get rid of the upper layer. Oh, no. Okay, I'm bad. Yep. This one, this one. Yeah, this can stay, this can stay, or do I make a stair? No, cause it would just have this bump here. So this should be quite fine. Yeah, probably be okay. I mean, come on, let's go up, eat a carrot. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm happy with it. And yeah, as you can see, it's getting slowly the nice oxidized color, the farm. So I'm quite happy about it. Here the mushrooms won't grow into big ones till I give their, you know, bone meal. So yeah, and here the, with the cobble it's just a marking cause I made it right before I gone to sleep. So yes, it's just something that's in my head and still not sure how it will look like. So yeah, that's more or less it. Okay, well, see you later. After a bit more progress, well, the days are progressing, we are already on the 247 and it's not even episode 6, or is it? So with the building, I built it in this style, I don't know. I got a feeling I just cluttered too many details inside of it, like here. Maybe I just will cut off all the X's there and make it uh, more small. And the rest, I'm still not too sure how I want to make the roof, so yes. This will be a bit of a challenge, cause I got no idea which color palette should go for the roof. Maybe I can use cherry planks and zite and so on. Still I'm not too sold onto it. I'm quite confused, so... Cause it's a build I'm just uh, doing as I go. That's the <laughs> most funny thing about it. Well, that's the kind of build I did. It's not really the best, not the worst. It's a baby build, new build, all from my own head. Well, I did say I'm not a good builder. I have even uh, problems picking up the right color palettes, so I probably won't even be building anymore. <laughs> I want to cry. I really want to cry.
I'm not really good. I mean, oh, well, it's gonna look somehow. Yeah, see you after the cut. Hello, hello, hello. Who do we have here? I finally completed more or less the building. I'm not sure if I like the design. Still, it should be one of the best works I ever did. Or even more or less finished to the half. Even this is for me like level 100. Even if for a lot of builders it's like nothing to brag about. I need it for this more than 10 to 15 hours. So yeah, I'm still glad I've got a pre-recorded log of videos. As you can see the inside here is gonna be the chest. I still need to place them and when we go up it looks like this. With this I'm glad how it looks. I'm happy with the color palette I chosen, so yes. I had a lot of trouble getting the colors right. I mean I'm still not sold onto the dark oak. Plus a lot of detailing like you see. Down there are trapdoors, up there are none. I still need to do that, but I'm gonna probably focus more on this build right here. But firstly I still need to move all the items into the chests and I'm gonna have here blocks for example here is gonna be an oak lock for wood types here stone block for stone types and so on and so forth it's gonna be only the beginning and i will probably do a storage area down here too but this i still need to dig and it's gonna be for an another day or another week and i still need to start on this this project here it's gonna take a lot of time but i want to make some farms too <laughs> That's the thing, it's already episode 6 and I only do did two farms. So the next episode I'm gonna make a farm or two. And the thing is I did make the slime farm but it's only duck. It's still not uh, functional. I need to go for the magma blocks and use them, you know, for the killing mechanism for the slimes and I still need to use a lot of uh, the iron golems. For iron golems for me it would be better to already create an iron farm, which I will probably make make an easy design and set it up mm, there <gasps> oh yeah the chimney it's missing the chimney i still gotta make a chimney and i want this copper to weather you know on the first stage after that i gonna wax it but for that i still need a bee farm and so on and so forth in short a lot of work hello 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 we are finally back i do want to show you the build and I'm gonna show it to you. Ta da! It's this. I'm quite happy with how it came out. It's a medium sized house for me. For um, Hermit Crafters, it should be a small scale house. I mean, they wouldn't even make such glass here, they would use glass paints. Still, I'm quite happy with the design. It's more or less how I want it to be. Expect I don't have the bees, so yeah, I gonna do that. Because I just want the semi-color, you know, this. This is the color I want to have. I need uh, beeswax, but for that I'm gonna need firstly to make a bee farm. But overall, the entrance is a multi-layer carpet, as you can see. One, two, three white carpets and one moss carpet around the entrance. That means I can stay here at night and zombies will just stay here and cannot pass find uh, the way here. Because they think, ah, oh, here is a gap, I cannot cross it. But there are some mobs like spiders which probably can jump over, but I'm not too sure. Still, this is the interior. I did label it for a bit like wood stuff, stone stuff. I put some things into shulkers, then uh, building stuff, which are processed blocks, as you can see, cut and so on, redstone and wool, then some valuables or something which I do want, nether, gravel sand and glass, then the organic stuff, 
and the rest. <laughs> I mean, I thought about being downside the inventory, like the storage system, but after going here back and forth, I really am coming back to the idea of having a storage somewhere outside because it's annoying and I want to have it more accessible. Sorting would be similar to down there, but it would be a bigger area and it would be always accessible with rockets. You know, I can just fly in, fly out, so I would not uh, confine myself in to a build. And yeah, I moved the, the enchanting table up here, as you can see. It's not the worst, but still I have no idea how to make this interior work. But I did make some, you know, verandas, balconies, the roofs, a bit shading, gradients, like they say. But still, this is more or less it. This here will probably be never finished. <laughs> I know myself. This is gonna stay this color and this this. This should be it for this episode. I mean, I built a whole house and I needed uh, for real a whole day for it. And I still need to edit all the footage. So yeah, but still, I'm quite happy with the design. Still all from my head, as you can see. Because which normal person would use bamboo with and side uh, clay bricks and copper. Calcite, mushroom stems, and so on. <laughs> Dark oak, then some spruce, jungle. I mean, oh, it's not too bad. The green and the bamboo, oh, I'm not too sure about that, but for now it's gonna stay. Well, in the next episode, I'm probably gonna focus some more on the farms, because, yeah, I just want to. Yep. So the next episode we are start with gathering of magma blocks and then digging for the slime farm. Still I gotta make it like that so it's not too far away so the slimes can still spawn if I'm in this respective area at the very least and that they uh, can fall down. But wait, I'm still gonna need an iron farm which I said I will make here. Or maybe I can do both. Maybe, maybe, well, let's see, bye bye.